Hello, welcome to Columbus, Ohio. This is Rachel Miller with Color Splash. Hope you guys are doing great today. So I've just done some really weird paintings and have been experimenting and haven't been thrilled. So before I pack up shop, I figured I would at least do one black hole piece. So I am going to do it in the colors I have out, which are the colors my sister requested. And I'm working with really thick paint. So I'm not sure how this is really going to turn out, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So I'm starting with Payne's Gray, but this time by Amsterdam. I usually use the Payne's Gray by Arteza because there's a lot more blue in it, but I'm been trying and trying to come up with a piece that my sister will like and she just finally told me she hates blue. Well Lord, I have been doing paintings almost exclusively in shades of blue, so of course they're not going to work for her. She instead likes shades of gray and purple. So I actually don't like working with purple, but I'm going to do so today just for her. So I'm starting with my ever sinking here, Amsterdam Payne's Gray. And then I'm going to follow with Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. Kind of a classic combo for me. And I'm just stacking them atop each other. Nothing fancy to it. Kind of doing a starfish type formation. Hoping to end up with kind of a starfish shape in the end. And then I'm going to grab, let's see. Nope, that color won't work. Definitely not. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to use this version of titanium buff, which I do not like. Unfortunately, I bought the wrong one. This is number 289, and I like number 290. There is a distinct difference between them. This one has a much more beige look to it, and I like the one that's a lot more khaki. But this is what I have, so I'm going to use it, and I believe very firmly in using an off-white color when doing anything on a pearl base because it adds a lot of dimension to your pearl cells. And over top of that, I'm gonna add a color I've never tried on a pearl base, and that is a pearlescent color from the metallic line of Deco Art called Pearl. Very appropriate name. It's a beautiful shade, I just don't know how it will interact with the pearl base. Sometimes the metallics do okay. Sometimes they tend to almost separate when they hit the pearl paint. So I guess we're going to find out which this is going to do. Then I'm going to move on to a custom color I created just using the neutral gray by Amsterdam and a little artist loft white. It's a really, really nice shade of gray. Although I've noticed as I add white, you can kind of see there's a twinge of a green base in this neutral gray. I wish they had a little bit more of a charcoal style gray, but working with what I have, now I'm using another custom color that I got by mixing dioxazine purple with neutral gray and artist loft white. Got me this really beautiful grayish purple shade. I just don't really like any of the purple, whoops, colors that are already out there. I think they're way too dark, way too aggressive. So I'm hoping this lighter version will look really nice. Now I'm going to grab a darker version of this custom color, all the same colors mixed in it, just a lot more of the dioxazine purple and a little less of the neutral gray and the artist loft white. But I'm hoping 
all these shades of gray and purple will work, will work well together. It's just that titanium buff color. Boy, does that kind of stink. But it is what it is. Definitely buy the 290 when you have the opportunity. So I'm gonna go back in with just a twinge more of the Payne's Gray. And like I said, this Amsterdam version is much more gray than it is blue. The um, Arteza version has a lot of Prussian blue in it. So if that's what you like, that is definitely the one you'd want to get. But whoops, since my sister decidedly hates blue, apparently, I am avoiding the shade of Payne's Gray that has blue in it. And I'm just going to use the Amsterdam. I'm going back to the neutral gray again. I just don't want the purple to overwhelm this. I really want there to be lots of shades of gray with a little bit of purple. So we'll see what happens here. I have to say, so far, this has been one of my nicest shaped little starfishes I've ever done. I'm just putting in a little bit more of that other custom gray. And I'm sort of tempted to add just a, you know what? I'll add a little bit of silver. Why not? This is Silver by Arteza. It's a very translucent color. I don't know how it's gonna react to the pearl paint, but we're gonna find out. And I guess I may as well add, just at the very tips, a couple little dots of this pearl color. I really don't want it so much in the center. I want to make sure my center has a um, solid amount of gray and purple. There, now it kind of looks like a flower. <laughs> I'm going to tilt this a little bit, bring this starfish over. I think my little cake stand is slightly uneven. Okay, so now I'm going to get my... New and untested cell activator and put some of it down here in the center. This is from my newest bottle of, of Australian Floetrol and I'm not sure how it's going to go because my old bottle was mixed very unevenly and for whatever reason, as much as I was angry and wanted to return it, I'm glad I didn't because it allowed me to get some really cool reactions that you don't normally get from the Australian flow trawl. And now I'm out of it, so I'm forced to go back to the regular old Australian flow trawl, and it's been so long. I'm not real sure how this is gonna do, but we're gonna find out. So I've got a good puddle of this in the center, and I'm just trying to float it over top. Okay, that's way more than enough. Now I'm going to get my blow dryer, and on the low cool setting, I'm going to blow this bad boy out. Oh, this is actually quite lovely. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so I am not hating this at all. Let me just scrape the edges real quick and then I'll get out my handy dandy skewer 
and start going to work closing in this black hole some. But this is gonna be pretty. I got some beautiful gray pearl cells that are just spectacular. Okay, I know my sister is gonna go bananas for this already. Like there is no doubt in my mind, she is gonna love this. I'm gonna just break my skewer because it's way too big. Okay. So now with a clean skewer and a clean paper towel, nothing else, no cell act or no um, silicone or anything like that, I'm just simply going to dip the skewer into the cell activator and slightly scratch, scratch a little bit at the bottom. And as I do that, you'll see little white dots appear and those are pearl cells coming to the surface. And the reason that's occurring is because I'm simply breaking surface tension, allowing paint that's underneath this black cell activator to rise to the surface. That's all I'm doing. I'm not adding anything to the paint, no extra chemicals. All the chemicals are already on there. I've got my satin enamel base with my acrylic colors and my Australian Floetrol base cell activator. And that is all I need for these pearl cells to start to appear. And oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Let's see if I can get any down here. I'm kind of just filling in these black voids, making a little canal for paint to rise to the surface. Wow, this is going to be a gorgeous tile. I can tell my cell activator is a little thick in areas because it's I'm having a little trouble getting my pearl cells to rise, but they are coming. I definitely put on more cell activator than I needed, which is totally normal for me. I always, always put on more than what I need. And if I hold back, then I definitely don't put on enough. And then I have to add more and then I add too much. Like I never get it totally right. But that's okay. I'm still learning every time I make one of these tiles, I get better and better at it. And that's kind of how everything is in life, right? You, the more you do something, the easier it becomes. I'm gonna try using the back side of one of these. Let's see, here we go. Because the greater the surface area, the more likely it is to pull a pearl cell. Yep, that worked. All right. But it can disturb the cells around it. So you have to be careful to leave enough room. I mean, essentially, I'm just removing a lot more of this cell activator when I use the big end of the skewer. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I think I closed this hole up quite sufficiently and I am so excited to show you guys what I'm looking at. It is gorgeous. I know my sister is going to love this tile. I think this is the way I would angle it. And Actually, I'm going to see if I can't kind of break up some of this acrylic to create more of a, let's see, what I'm doing is creating some pearl cells. They take a little longer, but it will happen. I'm creating some pearl cells that are gonna come up through the acrylic. 
Okay, let me take you guys in for a closer look. Look at this beautiful tile. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous pearl cells. Oh my word. Look at the purple halos on them. I mean, they are just spectacular. I guess the one good thing about this um, darker titanium buff is it's easier for me to show you how it adds dimension, as does the gray, but it just creates bands and bands of color, kind of gives more of a 3D look. And you can see where I poked holes in that gray, and those will continue to grow into pearl cells. Look at how gorgeous that is. I mean, oh my word. This is just so much better than what I ever thought it would be. In fact, I think I'm going to try and make another one right away. So thank you so much for joining me while I made this fun little tile for my sister. I'm so excited to get it to her. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please click like and subscribe. And as always, happy painting, y'all. Bye.